The vSphere Clustering Service, or vCLS, is a foundational new feature introduced with vSphere 7 Update 1. In its first release, we're working towards creating a decoupled and distributed control plane for clustering services in vSphere. In vSphere 7 Update 1, if you go to the vSphere client in the VMs and templates view, you'll notice that we now have a vCLS folder. This folder containing all the so-called agent or system VMs used by vCLS. It is good to understand that these VMs are hidden in the hosts and cluster overview. Customers should refrain from any type of operation on these VMs. So you should not power them off, not delete them or rename them. If for whatever reason you do power them off, you'll get presented by a warning uh, pointing to a specific KB article as well. If you then go ahead and power it off, you'll notice that the virtual machine is immediately powered on again. This is because the agent manager is keeping an eye out and monitoring the VCLS system VMs. And if for whatever reason there's less than three running per cluster, it'll immediately try to or power on or reinstantiate that virtual machine. If we try to power it off and delete the virtual machine, and we have to be quick, otherwise it'll get powered on again by the agent manager, we'll see that a new VCLS agent VM is immediately uh, redeployed. And this is the ag agent manager at work. If you go to administration and you take a closer look at the vCenter server extensions, you'll notice the vSphere agent manager. And this is the logic behind vCLS and all the system VMs. And you'll see all the vCLS agent VMs for each and every cluster. Each cluster gets three agent VMs deployed. These are really lightweight VMs and they are the cluster quorum. And in 7 update 1, the DRS logic is already partially depending on the VCLS control plane. In future releases, we are looking to include even more services into the VCLS control plane. Thank you for watching. <laughs>